Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a GNOME no pen. So, on a, a center punch. So I have a GNOME pen here. So the steps we're going to go through today is how to create a helical sweep. And we're going to repeat that pan across. And to make this diamond gnome pan, basically you just uh, mirror that in the cross section to create cutting this way and the cutting this way, and that will result in a diamond gnome pan right here. And one more thing um, I'll go over is to how to create a 30 degree sweep onto the surface to allow us to create a diamond shaped pan and create a realistic no pan on your center punch or any other um, metal metal equipment so let's get started i'll open a center punch up so here's a simple one basically i'll create a revolve using the revolve tool and create a basic center punch so to start, we'll go into create helical sweep and we'll go define a profile. So we'll click on a plane and click on the side plane, bring the plane forward. And in here, first step is create a direction for your sweep. So we're gonna, we're gonna create a uh, a sweep 45 millimeters long and 40 from the bottom so I've got to define the length and direction of the sweep after that we go in we go uh, pick the center axis of revolution and then we we'll go click this button to define the cut shape so I'll draw a triangle here, we're going to draw a triangle cut and make sure we draw this triangle, both length of this is the same so we want to create a, an isosceles triangle I think and it's 45 degrees and I'll make this about 0.5 and bring this in closer to 0.3 maybe 2 2.2 yeah maybe 2.2 and click OK and create a sweep around and we want to remove material we we'll click this button and it creates a sweep all right so to create the the diamond cut the main thing is we gotta put in the right pitch because let's go over to this picture here for a diamond gno, it's at the cut is at 30 degrees one way and 30 degrees the other way. And basically how to how we go about doing that is if we increase the pitch to maybe 30, it's um it extends longer. And just before we go through the other bit, uh, make sure you tick this button so so the cut is on the angle and we're going to determine the angle right now so basically to calculate a 30 angle cut our um, this is the helical, elliptical line here and this is the flattened version of the the rod so basically if you cut it and spread it out and this is one pitch from there to there is one pitch and basically we're going to use Pythagoras to determine the pitch right here so we want to figure out how to do a 45 degree angle crossing down and basically we we know the circumference which is 2 pi r so we have our radius my radius is 6.4 but basically you use the Pythagoras rule tan equal opposite 2 pi r over pitch so tan 30 
equals 2 pi r over x and we want to find x so we bring x to the left and put tan underneath so we have the circumference over tan 30 and that equals x and I'll quickly calculate the value so just use a calculator open to scientific and we'll put pi times the diameter to 12.8 pi let's try that again so 12.8 times pi equals and put that over 10 30 so to do that we're going to put 30 and then press 10 and close bracket and equals equals 69.65 so we'll put that here 69.65 so when we put our pitch in it should be at a 45 uh, 30 degrees so 69.65 and that should be at 30 degrees there if we go right view um, yeah I tried this already that should be around, around 30 degrees and I'll accept that so basically use Pythagoras to calculate the angle for the cut and we're going to use the pan tool um, there's two tools. The ge geometry pan tool is a more efficient way of pan patenting the your feature, but it doesn't really solidify that much. So, uh, just for speed of com of my computer, I'll just pan it using the geometry pan, and make sure you switch it to axis pan. And I'm gonna pick the center center revolution and I'll put around 25 um, 25 repetition and if you click this button it will you can put how many time it's repeated over an angle so we put 360 and it'll be repeated 25 times click accept and wait for it to load that was pretty quick that was not bad so that's the first step here it creates a one cut onto our center punch and the final step is basically we just need to mirror you create a plane and put it in the center so if you need to create a plane just click plane tool drag this point to where you like add in a dimension um, I'm gonna just I already have a center plane here but when you do a mirror make sure you select the geometry and also the first feature so there's a gap there you need to select that one as well and that will be included in our mirror so select mirror click the plane did I select that there okay click the plane and accept and it will take some time to mirror what happened there uh, what happened there? Oh, wait, let me cancel that. That didn't turn out right. Okay, I think I select the wrong feature. You gotta select this one and this one, and then go mirror. Did I select? And click on the middle plane. Accept. And let it load. So it'll take some time to to generate because it's quite complex complex to generate the pan. But there you go. There you have your Gano pan on a center punch. So if you you're doing a machinery course, you can put a technical drawing onto your assignment work or anything like that. But um, that's the, tu the tutorial there. Um, I'll appreciate if you leave any comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you find this useful. So, uh, have a great day. That's it. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.